LEGO Star Wars sets have captured the imaginations of fans for decades, but the question of whether these sets are overpriced is a topic of heated debate. Let's dive into the thrilling world of LEGO Star Wars and see if their high price tags are justified. Imagine unboxing the latest LEGO Star Wars set, your heart racing as you peel back the layers of packaging to reveal intricately designed bricks that promise hours of immersive building. But then comes the sticker shock. Are these prices really justifiable? First, consider the intricate designs and unique pieces that LEGO Star Wars sets often include. Sets like Luke Skywalker's X-Wing fighter boast complex mechanisms and highly detailed builds despite their smaller size. The folding wings, for instance, use advanced technic elements that enhance the building experience, making it not just a toy, but a feat of engineering. Such detailed design undoubtedly requires significant R&D, which is reflected in the cost. However, it's also important to understand the role of licensing in these prices. LEGO Star Wars sets are subject to licensing fees from Lucasfilm and Disney, which significantly inflate costs. This is a common point of contention among fans, many of whom remember the more affordable sets of the early 2000s. The Kessel Run Millennium Falcon, for example, stands out as the most expensive retail set ever produced for LEGO Star Wars, highlighting how prices have escalated over time due to these additional fees. Despite the high costs, the appeal of these sets is undeniable. They aren't just for kids anymore. Adult fans, AFOLs, find immense joy in collecting and building these iconic models. The sense of nostalgia and connection to the Star Wars universe often outweighs the financial burden. As one fan lamented, the rising prices mean that today's kids might miss out on the joy of owning multiple large sets, a joy that previous generations took for granted. Yet, there are grumblings within the community about whether this upward trend is sustainable or fair. Many argue that the smaller sets, intended for children, should be more reasonably priced. They feel that A-Falls already have enough high-end options like the UCS, Ultimate Collector Series sets, and that the main retail lines should be accessible to a younger audience. On the flip side, the high prices are also driven by the increasing demand for realism and accuracy in these models. Modern LEGO Star Wars sets strive to replicate their on-screen counterparts with incredible detail, sometimes at the expense of playability. This shift has turned some fans towards other toy lines for more play-oriented options, lamenting that LEGO has perhaps strayed too far from its roots. So, is LEGO Star Wars overpriced? If you're purely looking at the financial aspect, many sets might seem overpriced, especially when compared to their historical counterparts. However, when you factor in the licensing fees, the engineering marvels, and the detailed designs that appeal to both kids and adults, the price starts to make more sense. It's a delicate balance between cost and value, and for many fans, the joy of owning a piece of the Star Wars galaxy is worth every penny. Ultimately, the worth of LEGO Star Wars sets lies in the eye of the beholder. For diehard fans, these sets offer a tangible connection to a beloved universe, an opportunity to relive and recreate epic moments from the saga. And for that experience, many are willing to pay the price.